Hey everyone, this is Steve from Metaslider, which is the most powerful WordPress slideshow plugin. In this video, I'm going to talk about PostFeed, which is available in the pro version of Metaslider. And what it does is pull in posts or WooCommerce products or fields from advanced custom fields or events from the events calendar. It basically integrates with all sorts of other plugins. In this demo, we see Metaslider pulling in ordinary WordPress posts. However, in this video, we're going to look at the same feature, but pulling in WooCommerce products. This is a really good way to create a beautiful slideshow of your WooCommerce products. In order to make this work, you need to have some WooCommerce products set up. In this example, I have three. This is going to be a slideshow of travel products, and each of them has a title and also a main featured image and some content and the price. The product image in the right sidebar here is important because this is going to be used as the main background for the slideshow. So I have three products and it's going to be my goal in this video to get them all to show in an attractive slideshow. I'm going to take my next step of going to MetaSlider Pro and to the quick start area. And down here on this quick start screen, you have some options to quickly create a demo slideshow that's gonna be set up and ready to go for you. I'm using the post feed option, so that's what I'm gonna select. I'll click the create a slideshow button and I'm going to get one main slide in this area and this is going to have all the options I need. On the first screen, this is what is going to show on top of the slide. The slide will be in the background and the title, the author, the date, and the read more link are going to be the other items the visitors can see on your slideshow. This is set up for a post by default. So I'm going to remove these items and instead what I'll do is look at all these other WooCommerce options I have. We have the price, the sales price, the SKU, the add to cart URL. I'm going to just select price for now. This should show the price of the product just under the title. I'm going to go to the post types tab. And in this case, I'm going to unselect posts and I'm going to select products instead. If I want to, I can drill down to specific types specific product visibilities or categories. I'm going to leave those alone in this introductory video. If you click the display settings, you can decide how the posts are ordered. And also you can control how many posts are there. And you can also decide to include posts with no featured image if you really want to. Some people prefer a text only slideshow. We're not going to do that option here. The post limit is set to three, and that's what we need because we have three products to show. I'm going to click on save. And in this example, I could go down to the shortcode and copy this, and I could put that inside Elementor or Beaver Builder or any page builder. But I'm gonna leave the shortcut alone here, and I'm gonna use a Gutenberg block. I'll go to posts, add new post, and I'm gonna call this post our products. And right at the top, I'm going to get the Meta Slider Gutenberg block. I'll choose my slideshow here. And it's going to give me a preview. It's not going to be exactly how we want it to appear on the front of the site, but it's going to be 99.5% accurate. I'll hit publish and I'll view the post on the front of the site. Okay, that really looked pretty good. However, there's one obvious thing missing. I don't actually have the currency yet. I can fix that by going to the Meta Slider option at the top of the screen and clicking the Edit New Slideshow link. And in this case, adding the currency should be as simple as putting a dollar sign in there. Also, the Read More link is maybe not quite right for a WooCommerce product. It might be better for a post, but in this case, I could change the text to be, see this exciting 
script. And I'll click on save, go back to the slideshow refresh, and there we go. We have a slideshow of three products from WooCommerce. There are other modifications we can make to the slideshow. For example, we can go back to the admin area and we can change the theme. In this case, I might decide to choose this Radix theme on the right side. This should move the captions down to the bottom right. I'll save this new theme and refresh the front of the site. And there we go. The same captions are now visible but in the bottom right corner with previous arrows and next arrows on there. In the admin area, you can change the width and the height, you can change the effects. There's a ton of things you can do. And if you do decide to add more products to the slideshow, all you need to do is go to the display settings tab and you can increase the post limit. Or if you need multiple options, or different categories or different types of products. You can do that under the post type setting. You can choose different product categories, different product types in here. This is available on the demo.metaslider.com website where we show you what's possible with Metaslider. There's really a ton you can do with integrating Metaslider with other plugins, WooCommerce, ACF, the event calendar, Almost anything you can think of, if it stores information in your WordPress database, you can show it in a slideshow with Metaslider. Whether you're using the free version or the pro version of Metaslider, it really is the most powerful way to build slideshows in WordPress.